I've been an Emily Perkins fan since her first book of short stories, Not Her Real Name. Emily is a truly talented writer. She's one of those kind of writers that you never want to accuse of being a writer's writer because that somehow implies she's unreadable when she's incredibly readable. Emily is a short story writer and a novelist. Her novel, novel about my wife, um, garnered huge international acclaim um, and won the Believer Prize, which was pretty terrific. And the novel told the story of a marriage. And like her new novel, The Forest, which again tells the story of a family and in particular tells the intimacies of a single woman's life, I think the thing that makes Perkins' fiction so completely arresting is her ear for the everyday that she couples with something that is so knowing about the ways in which the world disappoints you. I was talking to a friend of mine who had just read The Forests and she said, but they're not nice people. And to which I responded, the world is full of not nice people. In fact, the world is almost entirely populated by not nice people. And I think why she meant by that is that in fiction, in so much fiction, including literary fiction, there's a tendency to resolution, there's a tendency for things to work out in the end, there's a tendency for things maybe to be a little bit less like life. And while I'm not saying that Emily is a, a realist writer because she isn't, there's something slightly different and slightly slant about what she writes, she has an incredible sense of the world. Um, Heartily recommend her as someone to read, but also really recommend coming along to see her. Um, I've seen Emily speak many times, and she's one of the most cogent speakers about the art of fiction I've ever heard. She's very giving and gracious as a speaker and incredibly sensible.